things that dealers don't want you to know. Car dealers, it can be new car lots, used car lots, franchises. Now, when I say franchises, I mean Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, which is Chevrolet, or just General Motors in one. You know, any new car dealer franchise or used car lot. When you think about having vehicles online, one of the things that we don't want y'all to know is how long the vehicle's been on the lot. Now, if you're looking at a used car on the dealership website and it has a sales price as, let's say, $35,000 and it is a 2022 Chevrolet Blazer going for $35,000, it has about, let's just say, 30,000 miles. When you see it online, you see the VIN number, you see the price, you see the features on the car, and they usually put the picture of the particular car online. When you go to a dealership and you step your foot on the car lot, whether it's a franchise or it's just a regular used car lot, you want to pay attention to the window sticker of the vehicle. And why, why do you want to pay attention to the window sticker? Because the window sticker is going to have the VIN number, the miles, and the features on the car. Now, when I'm saying features, I mean is that particular Blazer 1LT? A 2LT? Is it a RS? Is it a front-wheel drive blazer? Is it an all-wheel drive blazer? And the main thing what you want to pay attention to is the miles. Let me just give you another example. The miles are 25,000 miles, right? But when you go to the dealership, on the particular sticker on the blazer, it has 38,000 miles. But on the internet, it had 25,000 miles. Now, that's a huge discrepancy. 25 versus 35 or 25,000 versus 38, that's a discrepancy. So if you ask the salesperson, well, how long has the vehicle been on the lot? And it's, oh, the vehicle has been on the lot only um, 30 days, or we just got it a couple weeks ago. Then that's a red flag. What is the discrepancy with the miles? Did they make a mistake when they put it on miles? Or has a vehicle been there over six months? Because how did the discrepancy in the miles go from 25,000 to 35,000 or 38,000? How did that happen? Now, I know I said it's a huge gap, right? But you want to pay attention to the miles online and the miles on the vehicle. Why? Because that'll determine whether maybe somebody took a car home, maybe someone, a salesperson at the dealership had a demo, or maybe a customer in service actually drove that car because they treated that used car as a rental. Or one of the dealership employees, maybe the owner or the family member, somebody actually drove that vehicle and put miles on it. You know, the biggest thing about dealers right now, how we hide things that we don't want you to see, we want you to not ask us how long that particular vehicle been on the lot. Another thing we don't want you to ask us is, can you lower the price? Can you lower the price? We don't want you to ask us, can you lower the price? But you need to say, you know what? This vehicle has been on the lot more than 60 days. Can you can you reduce the price of $500 or $1,000? Now, the salesperson is going to say no, right? But the best way I think, the best way I think 25 years in this business is you gotta ask for you gotta ask for something three times. If you're buying a car from me and I'm going in for the clothes and I want you to buy a car from me, I'm gonna ask you three different times, are you gonna buy that car? I'm gonna introduce myself to you if you come in to see me. Then I'm gonna ask you, what are you driving now? Second question I'm gonna say to you is, what is your target date of buying this vehicle? How soon are you looking to make that decision? That's my clothes, that's my clothes. How soon are you looking to make a decision? I'm gonna ask that early on because I want to know, do I have a sale right now? So these are things that we don't want you to know is because we're going in for the sale. I'm going in for the sale three times in one conversation. Or I don't wanna say one conversation or within 10 minutes, I'm going in for the sale three times. One, I'm asking those first two questions. Then I am actually what? I'm going out to see if you have a trade in, I'm going to see how your trade looks. And then you know what? What you're doing is you're going to pick your own trade apart with me. That's what you're going to do. You're going to pick it apart. So these are things you we don't want you to know is because we don't want you to let you know that you're devaluating your trade. You're devaluating. You're already telling me you're looking for a car because your car is about to break down. So if I walk around your car and you, you're you going to say, well, this is wrong, that's wrong, blah, blah, blah. I'm going in for the sale. The third thing I'm going to say to you is when it's about down payment. This is my favorite clothes. And sometimes I make it my first question. How much money are you looking to put down right now in this particular car? Are you looking to put 1000 2000 3000 
or do you owe money in your trade? So let's back up. When I ask you what kind of down payment you're working with or how much money you're working with down, I'm asking about down payment because I want to know, do you have that money right now? Okay, Mr. Customer, do you have $1,000 down right now? Do you have that money ready and available to put down this car today? Or would you like to take this car, this car home just to make sure it fits in the driveway or fix in your garage? Or your $1,500 down payment, are you working with that right now? Do you need to go to the bank and get it? Or do you have? are you gonna write a check? Are you gonna put it in your debit card? Or are you gonna put it on your credit card? So these are things that we're gonna ask you or I'm gonna ask you because I'm going in for the clothes. The third thing I'm gonna ask you is, are you looking to buy this car right now? If I can get everything that you want, if I can get the payment that you want, are you ready to take this car home tonight? That's gonna be one of the last things that I say. Most of the time I don't get to that last question because you're already closed when you come see me is because you already know your situation. You already know what's going on. So on this video, I hope that you got everything that I put out, all the nuggets I put out because these are things that we don't want you to know. We don't want you to know the questions that we're going to ask you to, to close you because we're doing that the first conversation we have with you. And then we also don't want you to know how long the car been on the lot. And then about the miles, pay attention to the miles. That's salesperson to customer talking to you because it's 25 years in the business and I've seen it all. All right, and if you watch this video, subscribe. And you know what? I'll, I'll see you on my next video.